Oh, 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 here we go. Taste test. Something tell me I wasn't recording this. <laughs> anyway, here's the black drum. And uh, what we're doing is scoring along the side right here. All the way along the side, up to the head and down to the tail. So that we can, when we fillet it, get to filleting it, it's going to be a lot easier. All the way down. The knife is just under the skin right here. All right. I think I went to the head already, right? Didn't I go up to the head? I did. So now I'm turning the knife this way. I'm pressing down a little bit on the, the rib cage and gently scoring it as I come back. I'm pressing down and just separating that meat from the bone. Not in a big hurry. Nice and easy. Pushing it through, pressing down all the way to the tail. Separates the tail like that. Now I can score it down. I'm pressing down. Coming over that that backbone and uh, going down this way. Yeah, those the bones right there. Pressing and kind of separating the meat with my thumb, pulling up. Pretty soon I should hit the rib cage. When I hit the rib cage, I can go around the rib cage. Still going down. And usually right at, right there where the anus is, or where the waist comes out, the butthole, whatever you want to call it, the rib cage kind of follows that line up, up to here. The rib cage, right? That's the rib cage holding all the guts and everything. Just cutting right around that. Some people cut right through it. There we go. I'm gonna leave this part on. Give me some leverage to cut the do the other side. Doing the same thing on this side. Ambidextrous with my hands so I can cut with both. So I like to switch hands and I do the other side. Same thing, I'm pulling the meat away, pressing down with my knife, gently scoring it just to get some leverage. And because I scored it, it makes it easier to get past the bones and everything. See that? Press through, I'm pressing down through the tail. There you go, right there. I'm pressing down, getting as much meat as I can. That's pretty, I'm, I'm definitely gonna eat this tonight. The rib cage still pressing down coming over that rib cage you can see it right there notice how white the meat is you don't see a lot of blood in there it's because I bled it out prior to um, bringing it home and it's been on ice
at this point I can just cut right through it, but I'm just gonna kind of keep scoring it. See how far I can go. So that's pretty much it right there. Yeah, we are in. We are definitely done. <laughs> I'm up by the brains and everything else. I'm not sure what this disease are. Some kind of bladder, but you know, it's funny. Definitely having this tonight. Ugh. Isn't that pretty? It's a pretty looking fish there, right? All right, now for the other side. The other side's already done. And this one, I'm just going to do something different. I'm just going to cut from right here, angle my knife in a little bit, and cut down. A couple scales in there. Try to get that meat out. There we go. And there's a the rib cage right here. I try to cut around that rib cage. I can feel it with my knife a little bit. To right there where the butt is, right there, this part right here. I'm cutting to right here. Yeah, I might have went into the gut a little bit. I think I did. Should come right out. Yep, there it is. Oh, almost lost it. Okay, so there we go. I'm not worrying about the cheek meat. Uh, this makes a lot of work just to get to that meat. So I'm just going to leave that alone. Uh, I'm not sure what it ate. Pretty empty stomach. Oh, feel some crab, crab claws. Uh. All right, now for this one, what I'd like to do is poke the eyes out. Please pause it if you don't like this. I poke the eyes out to give it an um, air cavity. Okay. And I'll also puncture the, the innards, entrails, guts, stomach lining. I, I, I puncture all that so that water can get in it so it will sink and all the crabs and microorganisms and stuff can break it down in the water. Yep, so she should sink. And then the last thing to do is to get the skin off. I should keep half the skin on. You know what, my neighbors might want some. I'm gonna check with them and see if they want, want some. Uh, got my court bags. I got court bags. I'm gonna put the fillets in right away. Uh, keep them off the table. And I've actually um, take the meat off the fillet a little differently now too. Instead of doing it from the tail and all the way through, I do halfway. Get that this part off right away. Go here. Press down, and with this cut code knife, you can go to a nine nine inch <clears throat> just by pulling it out. Gives you more leverage. You can press down on it. Get that piece out. And notice that the meat stays on the skin until my knife goes through. No, I said that. Enough some of the skin on. 
Edit, edit that video. Edit that part out. Edit that out. Edit that part out. Come on. Let me see if I can get to that in a little bit. I think I got it. And that goes in the court bag. This gonna be. I got. I got a few bones right here where the rib cage is, and I'll cut those out inside. Keep that there, and then I turn it around, and I skin the rest back to the tail. That way, I'm not dealing with this real great big slab of meat. <clears throat> and put that in there. That little bit of bloodline I'm not worried about. Put that there for now. Then we have one more piece. Do the same thing with this one. Cut down. Yeah, I can feel some ribs in there. Some bones, some small bones. And I'll pick those out. Well, actually, I think this one's going to go to my neighbor. They can have that for dinner. there you have it guys uh, that's how I clean them <laughs> if you have any suggestions please let me know especially um, gutting the fish you know write them in the comments please um, definitely comment on the videos as well helps the channel out a lot appreciate it I'm gonna go ahead and clean up and then that's it so thank you guys for coming on board I appreciate it until next video you guys take care God bless you bye, -bye. Well, guys, I figured, why stop now? Let's go ahead and cook this black drum that I filleted. I'm just going to do it real time, uh, virtually no editing. And let's see how it comes out. I have some olive oil heating up on medium heat right now. And here's my black drum. I'm going to put that in there, rinse it off a little bit. Just a little bit. There's some bones in there, and I want to get those bones out. I want to get those bones out real quickly. I'm going to slice it right down the middle. There we go. And I don't feel any bones on this one. So that's going to be, that's going to be a nice piece on the, on the sandwich. Mmm. Oh, I can feel it. Turn that bad boy like that. Oh, that's going to look good. Oh, that's going to be good. I'm going to cook this bad boy just like that. Boom, boom. This one, this is the one that has... Hmm. This is the one that has the bones in it, where the rib cage is, right here. These are all bones right there. It's that line right there. I'm gonna cut around those. Yeah. Yep. No. Oh, Any more? Nope. That's it. That's it right there. And I probably cooked this. I wonder if she... I'm gonna call my wife and see if she wants some. She's on the way home. I'll make her a piece too. Yep. That olive oil is. Uh, Heating up pretty good. All right, so what I'm going to do quickly is pat these dry. I don't need to, I don't think, but pat them dry a little bit. We're going to put some seasoning on them, egg, wa egg wash them, put them in some olive oil, throw some seasoning on them, and pan fry them. That's it. That's it. This is real time, y'all. Real, real, real time. Real time, real time. Yeah, I use this thing right here. Boom, boom. Get an egg. Check this out. I learned this from some YouTube. <laughs> That's how you crack your egg. It's easier that way. Just drop it in there. Boom. It's done. Okay. Bam. Bam. Need a fork. 
Okay, egg wash. Boom. So get your favorite fish fry. I like to use garlic onion. Garlic onion, fisherman's. Fisherman's uh, Seafood so Spectacular. Can't find this anywhere else. If you know where it is, please let me know. Um, have olive oil. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just use this for now. I'll wash all these later. Let's go ahead and put some olive oil in there. All right, boom. All right, get these guys in some olive oil. Lather them up just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. It's just three pieces right here for now. And then what I'm going to do, and I'm going to get my blackening seasoning out as well, because I like that on it. i got to find it. Real time, y'all. Real time, real time, real time. Real time, real time, real time. Where's the blackening? Black, 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 blackening seasoning. Uh, right here. Bow down. All right, got some blackening seasoning. Real time, so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on there. Got some on that side, got some fisherman solution. Do the same. Garlic and onion, do the same. Uh oh, where's, I thought we already had one open. I'm sorry, baby. Mm. Okay, garlic and onion. Yep, just a little bit. Yep, 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 yep. All right, get some on that side. Same thing on the other side. Blackening seasoning. Oh man, that's too much. Oh, that's too much. That's too much. <laughs> okay, we got the blackening seasoning. Hey, this is real time, y'all. Real time, real time, real time. Uh, garlic and onion. Put a little bit on there. Oh, it's gonna be nice and. S Sweet. That's it. Okay. Boom, boom, so we got that. And usually what I do is marinate it for a day or so in this garlic, onion, and um, olive oil mixture, but don't have the time. All right, put in some egg, dump it into your flour, shake it, bake it, shake and bake it, shake and bake it, shake and bake it, shake and bake it. Pot out, done, all right. That was real hot, I don't know if it's real hot right now, but Place it in there just like that. That's all right. Should be hot. It should be hot. It should be hotter than this, but I took it off. That's okay. Give it a second. Egg wipe. Egg wash. Shake and bake it. Yeah, so I messed up there. Should have been should have been already heated up, but I messed up. Put that over there. And egg wash it. Chicken bake it. Oh, look at the sizzling. Sizzling now, isn't it? There you go. And I'm not gonna cook it long at all. Shake and bake it. Yeah, she's uh, sizzling right now. Let's go ahead and, uh... oh, yay, what we got? Yeah. Go ahead and put another one, another piece in there. There you go. Sweet potato. Oh, my wife made these sweet potato Parmesan cheese 
And some other magic she did to it. Oh my gosh, so good. So good, so good, so good, so good. Go ahead and heat up this. Cause I'm gonna have this with my Den Den. I need to call her and see if she wants some. I gotta pause y'all, I gotta get call my, call my lovely wife. Give me a sec. Whoo, as you guys can see, this fish is turning out nicely. And I made a little piece for my sweet bee. And we're gonna get ready to eat this, 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 <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that, look at that, look good. Black drum, black and black drum, black and black drum. There you go. Woo. So these smaller pieces are gonna be without a whole lot of seasoning. Just the egg wash and the fish fry. And then we're gonna taste it and see how it tastes um, with just that, just the fry by itself. Um, I am, it's okay. All right, so here's a, take a look at it. This is without the seasoning and oh, 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 here we go. Taste test. Mm. Ah, that's a good sign. Oh, oh, you did, we did it, we did it, we did it, mm. we did it. Baby. Mm. Oh. Mm. It's good. Wow, that doesn't even need hot sauce. It's good, awesome. That is delicious. Nice. Wow. Nice, nice, nice. Right. Mm. This is with oh. the seasoning, the blackening, oh. fisherman solutions. Oh, catch me it's good. another one tomorrow. Ah! <laughs> you know I got to go, bro. You got to go. Mm. Good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. He's the man. I'm the man. Wow, man. Cool. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, we're gonna jump into some. Oh, can you tell about this? I, I tried to explain mm. your sweet potato. Mm. How'd you make the sweet potato? What kind of? Mm. I just seasoned the sweet potato with some salt and pepper, some paprika, some garlic powder. You can do whatever you want. And then I just grated um, Parmesan cheese on a baking dish with parchment paper. And I just laid them on it. Yeah. And I roasted that at 400 mm. for about 35, 40 minutes. That's good. That's good. Oh my All gosh, right. this fish is great, baby. Alright, I gotta go eat dinner. Love y'all. Peace oh, out. Thank you for goodness. thank you. Subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff on this video. Peace out. Bye-bye.